um, my name is Jason Justice. So I'm currently working with Book My Show, and I have a, like me and my couple of my friends. We just every, like we actually living together, and we used to sit and hack something or find something like some random thing. So this is actually a research from like uh, my friends. Like uh, yeah, up just straight away. I don't have time. Okay, so first of all, I'm just dedicating this flash talk to my family because they, every time when I play games, they ask the same question. Why are you still playing games? Like, especially when I play this game, Rayman Legend. Like, next year, hey man, you're going, next year you need to get married. Why are you playing this all these cartoon games? <laughs> I was like, well, it's, it's game. But yeah, I know that people, they don't understand. Like, but uh, I have an answer for this question. Like, why do I still play games? But uh, I think like before I just, uh, like I just play a little small clip of this game and and the level that I really like and just small I think anybody can hear so you, so you check the game actually how the game plays so yeah so that's it. Like you see the game, right? It's very cartoon. It's very colorful, and it's very vibrant, and it's so cool. Like, but that that game, that clip that I shown, it have the answer for my question. Like, I think you guys guessed. Like, and it's nothing. It's just simply game experience. So, like game experience. Like you see the game, right? The dynamics of the game, like the player, the move, and every in that level, like everything. Like the animation, the boss, enemies, the player, everything come to a, like one center point, like it more concentrated on the music. And even the player also, you will get addicted to the music and you just sit and like continuously playing. Oh man, I need to finish the level in one, one stretch. So like that, that's called like game experience. Why? Because that simple cartoon game, they drag me to like sit and like play for hours and hours to complete levels. It, the game have something and that's the experience. So today I'm just talking about the game experience. So before that, like, just give you what is game experience. Like, game experience is like a combination of like a lot of things, like story, art, music, like mechanics, and lot of factors. It's it's n number because when I start digging more, it, it's like a very big topic. I'm really get like there's a lot of things to learn from that. So I thought about to share some factors that really drive the game experience currently in the industry when you look at the games out there. So the first factor is the user interface. So in user interface, now you see all the interface are like very aesthetics, very. Just you see this, this is the game screen of a game called Division by Splinter Cell by UBSO. I think it's not a release, I'm not sure. So you see that, like this is actually a map, like a player when you see it, like I want to see where is my next checkpoint. When you click on the map, it's actually showing the 3D area. It's like very beautifully, it's, it, it's shown, it's like, it, actually utilize a complete spatial 3D area and they put a very amazing map. Like it's a, like a wow factor. It was like, oh man, this is nice, cool. I never seen this before. So like people are making very aesthetics and like very good. And the main thing is this is usable. Like it's not just a piece of lines and circles. It's like very usable. When you really see that I actually watched the gameplay and I, I got like, yeah, man, this is a one good thing. So next thing I've seen in UI is minimal. Like. Right now, all the games are like getting very popular, right? like franchises like Assassin's Creed, GTA 5, and all, right? But if you still, like, you play all the series of games, but you, you, you should watch the UIs. And so I actually took, like, GTA, like three versions GTA San Andreas, GTA 5, and uh, GTA, uh, sorry, GTA 4 and GTA 5. So if you took in this San Andreas, right, you have seen on the top, right, it's actually an icon, like, also what the current weapon you have selected, then the time, health bar, and your money. But okay, that's cool, right? When you're a player at that day. But on the next release, when they, they completely remove that block, they remove that information from there and give a more space to enjoy that complete view of the like environment that they created. So, but actually weapon and bullet, that's actually important when you're getting into a fight. So they thought it very well. So in GTA 4, like when you actually get into some fight on top, they will show the, what the current weapon you are selected how many ammo round and the, how many police are there. But similarly in GTA 5, they exactly took the GTA 4 and they made a little bit change. The only change I've seen 
when you're in the fighting sequence, they don't show the gun. They only write the numbers, like how much round is left. Because like it doesn't matter. Like when you're in fight, you never care what gun it is. You just see the enemy and just kill him. Like fuck. You never see like what it is and what happened. You just yeah, that's the philosophy. You never go and say, Oh my which gun is that I'm having? Oh, I'm having MPA five. Oh man, nice cool. You never go. And the next thing is feedback. Like feedback is yeah, this screen like give like feedback for example a lot of uh, first person shooter lovers are here so like when you see like wolfenstein like when you, there will be a health bar and whenever you shoot the health bar will decrease and that's how you know okay i'm going to die but exactly same philosophy when you are in attack you never think of anything only the enemy same thing but in that situation how 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 you will get notified that okay you are getting damaged or you are getting you're getting damaged and you're getting like uh, how like more uh, attack and all. So what they do, they put a notification. Like once you get a heavy damage, they they sprinkle some like blood on on the screen. So you will get notified. Hey, fuck, I, sorry. Hey, I, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm very sorry. <laughs> so like I got, I need to take a cover. Otherwise, I will die. Similarly, in racing game, like Need for Speed. When you're putting a nitro boost and you're accelerating, they add a motion blur effect to that. So you will feel like, oh man, my car is going very fast. Actually, it's similar, but you get the feel that, okay, I'm accelerating, I'm getting into the first, second, third, or what. So this is like what, like a couple of things that I noticed in UI, but there are a lot more, but I just handpick a couple of like easy, understandable thing. And the next big factor is an art. So when you see like art, right? I know this art has been changed drastically. Like if you think from story, if you think from the environment, character and all the designs, like they are changed very drastically. Like uh, for, if I, for example, like if you take uh, the game like Far Cry 4, like I've seen the developer diary where the developers, they travel to Nepal and they stay for months and they study what the culture, what the music, how the environment look, then they exactly recreated in the game. So it's like a very good experience, not just like playing game, it's give me the culture of Nepal. I don't know what, how the Nepal looks and all, but I can see the game, it, they create a very fictional place in that, and it's a very good game. Yeah. Yeah. One, well, just finished. So next is music. I'm going very fast. So music, like games, I really got a very big collection of music. Like music discovery games is one good thing. Like this is just a couple of art, art albums I have, like there are a lot more I can put it, but I don't have time yesterday when I'm preparing this, so I just put only this. There are a lot of songs I get. So the conclusion, like what did you learn in like this five minutes? Like what I just talked, a lot of random things here. But the main thing, the game teaches you user experience. Because like you, you are actually a user, you are interacting with the game. It's actually a system, like the feedback, what, how the, this is actually exactly you want in like normal apps that you do. Like it should be very user friendly. In games, like nobody need to, it's odd, will you always go there and take and you start playing without anybody forcing or, it's just like, that's the thing. So from games, I really understand like, okay, they're taking too much thing about user experience and all. So you can really understand small, small things from that. And yeah, the another one is like one good excuse to play. Like I am learning <laughs> user experience at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like that's one good excuse to play. Seriously, you could just tell me like why. Like, so yeah, that's it.